So first of all, I mean, I'm really thankful to the organizers of Technotlon 23 for giving me the opportunity to speak about the role of the IIT professors in encouraging science and technology amongst the youth. Okay. So uh, you have just seen that, uh, like say, I was, I was playing against a young guy from IIT. Okay. So uh, I like to be challenged and I want to pose challenge to the young ones as well. According to me, if India is to uh, prosper in science and technology, then all the youths, they will have to come out of their box, right? Just like you have to think like Elon Musk there, okay? And uh, like you must have seen in the uh, last two, three years, it was a very uh, difficult year for all over the world. But India has uh, taken up the challenge of this COVID uh, win us pretty well and you are probably aware of the fact that India is already number one in digital financial transaction so probably 20 years ago that was not even I mean we could think about that we never thought that it is uh, I mean India is going to be successful in that front right so you guys the young guys they have to think as I have told out of the box so what are the challenges that is going to come to us in the near future maybe in the next 20 years or so so if you can plan accordingly I definitely think that India will be uh, not only the number five economy in the world right now we are uh, we think that in science and technology also we are going to be the pioneer and I am absolutely sure that uh, the young generation they are going to do it for us and we have full faith in you and definitely we as instructors or we as professors we are going to challenge you more right and you are also going to challenge us but the thing is that we are going to provide you with all the basics that you need and remember without those basics it is going to be extremely difficult to work on something which is going to be out of the box and again last but not least one should remember that it is the quality that matters not quantity thank you hello everyone i'm here to just to share a few thoughts about how youth can change the science and technology for future better social life when you say youth for today's life we were youth earlier and for tomorrow's society you are the youths today in order to you know uh, make the technology for the better life we need to understand the science behind it so that we can impact that science for the uh, technology purposes for example if you take the case of the storage information uh, we have two type of storage the one is in the hard disk the other type of storage is then the uh, solid state drive so the first hard disk when it was done in 1956 with the 5 mb of storage with 2 kilobytes per second access rate needed a almost a big room of nearly uh, 5 kilowatt power and more than fifty thousand dollar and it is not an one ton way to you know manage that storage and now what we see with a lot of invention in the science including the uh, giant magneto resistance concept and also the uh, the how we can grow the uniform size of the particles we have today hard disk which is just in a uh, you know may fitting into the hand uh, which can store nearly 12 terabit to 15 terabit and now we are still looking for the future hard disk which can store up to 100 terabits such that we can you know keep storing lot of information documentation for maintaining the records on the other hand if you look at the basic requirement of our life such as the pure water and the pure uh, air clean air for the healthy life it is very important for you people as a youth to take over the science and technology so that your next generation will have clean air to breathe and good water to drink because we are polluting a lot of stuffs using the fossil fuel and unrecoverable wastages 
and that's going to impact your life very badly. And if you see that technological devices such this mobile phone by the leading companies, they are already started using the recyclable plastic from the sea waste stages and then trying to make the devices. So if you don't look at the science and technology in a right perspective, tomorrow we will have no choice than using the same stuff that is used, which means we mostly depend on heavy recycling process of the used stuff. So I see that you as a you, you uh, currently have a lot of things to change the science and technology for better growth month by developing not as a standard uh, jobs, you can look for startups of a focused concept for the better society life. I wish the youth to have enjoyable, you know, science and technology journey for the better society life. Thank you. Winning Technothlon means and visiting Isro was truly an experience of a lifetime. The competition tested our logic and skills and we had the opportunity to compete with some of the brightest young minds in the nation. Visiting Isro was truly inspiring, witnessing the precision and complexity of their work as well as meeting their talented, talented scientists and engineers. Witnessing the weather rocket launch in thundering rain in Isro was an experience that we will never forget. During my schooling period, I didn't get the chance to appear the exam myself, but after joining IIT Guwahati, I came to learn about it from my peers. I realized that it's not just an Olympiad, but rather a whole new learning experience all in itself. I'm more than excited to experience Technothlon as a part of the team, which has a chance to make it big with my vision. And I'm very excited to be a part of the team. Uh, as an organizer, we have a huge responsibility to conduct the examination all over India. But uh, also we as a team strongly believe that a responsibility comes with great opportunity to do something great with our ideas and our skills. Uh, one of the things that gives us huge motivation to work in team is being a city representative where we reach out to thousands of schools across the nation to inspire the younger generation towards science and technology. And trust me when I say this, I'm having the best time of my life working for the finest dentist of our country. And it just feels so great to brainstorm all those ideas and to have those heated discussions in order to create the best set of events for the, like, the brightest brain cells of India and this time abroad as well. Thank you.